Every year on the 19th of November, International Men's Day is observed to bring attention to the problems that men and boys confront as well as to promote awareness of their health and well-being. In addition, the day encourages men to become excellent role models by celebrating the positive values they provide to the world. Hi, it's Dumelang. Good evening. My name is Tambo Mulukwani. Welcome to this edition of Soweto Today. Tonight we're joined in studio by Siabulela uh, Jantile, who is the president of the Not In My Name Foundation, and via Zoom, Tebokhole Role, who is the chairperson of Mzanti Act Now. Gentlemen, thanks very much for taking the time and joining us. Um, Sia, let me just bring you to this conversation. I mean, a very important day, International Men's Day. Mm. Let's talk about the significance of it and also how should we actually um, celebrate it? Mm. Thank you so much, Tavo, and uh, good evening to you and, uh, and the viewers at home. Um, it is indeed a privilege for me to be here and representing uh, the organization that I work for. Um, <clears throat> International Men's Day for me means yet another opportunity to obviously reflect um, on what it means to be a man in the world today because it's, a, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's an international day. Um, what it means to be a man, reflect on some of the challenges, as you rightfully highlighted earlier, the challenges that men and boys face today, especially in South Africa today, where we are faced with many incidences of violent uh, um, um, uh, masculinities. I mean, we've, we saw a few weeks ago a man stabbing another man, disemboweling them, taking pictures. We saw another man stabbing a, a student at CPUT um, um, in, in Cape Town. And so this day for me means that we need to come out as men, um, critically reflect on our actions and what effect do they have on, on the rest of the society. Uh, celebrate ourselves as well, you know, not only use the day to pinpoint on what is wrong, but to also highlight our wins and our positive uh, contributions in our societies. Um, if it was, you know, if it were up to me, I would say we have um, a men's day every month um, but uh, uh, you know it's a very important day which I personally celebrated in Venda uh, with, uh, with the Department of Social Development, the Office of the Deputy President and other men who are doing amazing work um, in South Africa. Mm. Um, you know I want us to just focus on also the uh, theme which is zero male suicide. Um, mm. You know what comes to mind when uh, you hear, uh, you know, about this theme. Mm -hmm. I know that uh, there's quite a lot of issues that are faced by men out there also. Mm -hmm. But uh, the significance of choosing a theme such as this. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think it's very important, um, 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 mainly because you, you, you know the numbers, the numbers don't lie. A lot of men are committing suicide. Um, it's not only a phenomenon unique to South Africa, but let, let's just bring it here at home. Uh, a lot of South African men are frustrated, which is why uh, you know, I spent the past week uh, going against the whole um, uh, campaign of, of, of uh, taverns of the future, yeah. because those are spaces, I believe, that men go to uh, to find an escape. So we need to find positive spaces for men to start speaking out. We cannot uh, normalize or encourage the um, uh, tavern set up where men can go and drink alcohol and start talking, because when the al alcohol leaves the body, your problems are still there. And so suicide is also uh, just mental health in general, yeah. uh, because suicide is a, a result or is a byproduct of, of, of mental health left unaddressed. Um, and so for me, that the, the, the theme is very important, it's very significant because of, you know, where we find ourselves in, in the country, um, about, you know, the high, highest, uh, high suicide rates that we are seeing. And just speaking about that, I'm reminded, in fact, um, the event I was attending yesterday, there, there were some awards, and one of the people that was honored was the late Dr. Patrick Shai. He yeah. did a lot of work. He was our colleague in the industry of, of social development and uh, inspiring positive role modeling. And Dr. Shai, unfortunately, uh, you know, committed suicide. Yeah. So for me, um, that, that it was fitting to also remember him. And, uh, you know, this, is, was, this was someone who was moving around the country talking to men uh, about mental health, about gender-based violence, and yet he himself, he was struggling. So that says to us, even those of us who are 
out there trying to do all this wonderful work, we are also suffering in silence. And so for me, the theme is very important and I wish that we could find ways in which we can magnify the conversation in our country and make sure that we create more platforms like this one where men can talk about their issues. I mean, you know, you, you're raising a very important issue talking about platforms and stuff. I mean, you look at, um, um, you know, a lot of men uh, mm. you, uh, on social media, sometimes you would see certain posts that would be somewhere, somehow be regarded as red flags and, yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah. But my, my main question is, how do we then uh, see that actually this person is suffering in silence? Uh, is there some sort of subliminal messaging mm. when it comes to the messages or the posts that they uh, post on, on social media pages? And also, how do we go about in making them to speak? Uh, yeah. You know, because, you know, when you are a man, they always say that, uh, how do we uh, get men to talk about uh, issues? Mm -hmm. I mean, um, we need to, again, and, 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 and how that looks like, it, it dif it's different from one sector of the society to another. We need to create those platforms. Um, as for the signs, the signs are always there. I was attending another uh, um, program at the Nelson Mandela Foundation, two weeks ago, I think, mm -hmm. uh, by um, um, Activate Change Drivers Organization. And so they invited doctors and we're talking about the very same issue. Up. And one of the advices we got was that we must normalize asking each other, have you thought about killing yourself? You know, it's a very bizarre and, 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 and you know, a strange question. But they, they were saying to us, normalize asking each other, if, have you thought about killing yourself? Um, and I thought that was profound. But to answer you, um, I, I, I don't have uh, an expect answer yeah. as to these are the definite signs. Um, because as you said, we, 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 we grow up in a society that says that men must, uh, a man does, doesn't cry, a man cannot complain. Take it like a man. Um, take it like a man. Uh, you know, if you speak out, you are being CC. And so the only way we can make these platforms um, to be conducive and to be safe spaces is if we, the very same people are who are facilitating these platforms, are actually able to open up. I need to say, if I'm going to be facilitating a conversation, I need to say, my name is Siabulela Gentile. Um, I've contemplated on taking my life someday. And this is the kind of assistance that I've... Okay, this is... My name is Sia. I've got uh, pornography uh, issue... Um, what you call addiction, I've got drugs mm. addiction, I've got alcohol addiction. So the only way to make these spaces to be conducive is if we speak about them. Um, 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 and so whoever is there can be able to easily participate. One of the signs that I can think of, social media, yes. Um, there are people who are crying out for help on social media and mm. you see them by dragging others down. Each time when someone says something, they're always negative. Um, or they, you know, always put out... Uh, sad posts, you know, I'm tired. Um, so one of the things to, you know, to do is just that I'm no longer that active on social media, but it's always important to reach out, you know, privately, reach out to someone and say, um, I see this thing, man, not to be, you know, but I'm, I'm worried, are you okay? And and we, we never ask each other that thing as guys, or, or sharp, like genuinely, or sharp, yeah. or sharp. We just like, except who's it, sharp, sharp, then that's it, you know, um, and that needs to change. We are in conversation with uh, Siabule Lajentile, who is from uh, Not In My Name, just uh, talking more about uh, the International Men's Day, which is observed, you know, to bring attention to the problems that are faced by men. They're just, uh, you know, deep conversation, particularly looking at uh, what is it that needs to be done in order to assist uh, uh, you know, men that are suffering in silence. Also, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, uh, we continue the conversation and we bring in the chairperson of Mzanti at now, uh, Rola, also to the conversation. Do stay with us. Welcome back. You're still watching So It's Today. Thank you for staying with us. My name is Tambo Mulukwani. Now, yesterday's International Men's Day, a day that falls every year on the 19th of November 2023 and it is a day set aside to honor and promote the contribution that men and boys make to their communities. Now uh, we're still in conversation with uh, Siabulele Gentile from uh, Not In My Name. Let's bring in uh, Tebo Holorola who is the chairperson of Mzanti Act now to the conversation. Tebo, let me bring you in. Uh, very good evening. Welcome to the show. Um, I, I, you know, 
Well, myself and Siabulela, we actually started the conversation looking at uh, uh, the significance of uh, International Men's Day there. Let me start the conversation there with you. How important is it, you know, to uh, recognize such a day and also, you know, the message that should be put out out there for men, uh, you know, particularly in making sure that uh, they realize that uh, this day is actually important. I'm not sure if you can hear me, uh, but uh, this one, it was directed to you. Yeah, I, I just wanted, I, to, yeah, just to get a sense from you, how important is it? I, I, All right. Um, good evening. Thank you, Tabo, and greetings to Siabu. Siabu Lela. Well, International Men's Day is a significant day in this, I think, about two days in a year to celebrate manhood. And I feel part of the reasons why men are redundant or why men never come to any call of some sort is because we hardly consider men. And for instance, we hardly celebrate men. We only celebrate them on their birthday and Father's Day. Um, this day is important because apart from us calling out men to, to be responsible fathers, us calling us men to, um, to join the fight or, or be accountable in the schedule of GBVF and other societal ills that affect our communities, we hardly celebrate men. Yesterday was important or the, the um, uh, International Men's Day was a significant day in, in a man's life because we wish to remind men the importance the importance or the role they play within our communities and not every man is a perpetrator we've got men that do good to towards their communities we've got fathers that, that are uh, present within their children's uh, upbringing we've got men that champion pr programs that shape up our communities and shape up the, 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 the uh, I mean, South Africa as a country. So what was significant is really, really going out there and, you know, recognizing those men, awarding those men, making them um, uh, aware that the, play, the part that they play in life or in society is pivotal. Mm. I mean, we, you know, we also touch on particularly uh, the uh, issue of creating safe spaces for men. Uh, we know that uh, as we were talking about the issue of uh, men dying in silence because of uh, various issues that are happening there. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very much interested in finding, uh, you know, from you as an organization, uh, you know, um, the work that you do as the uh, Act Now uh, movement in your organization, um, you know, the messaging uh, in society as, uh, I mean, w what is it that you as an organization do? Uh, as act now and also the message that you preach to the communities to also help men out there we are in conversation with uh, uh chairperson of from zanti act now that's at the ruler there seems to be uh, having a problem with uh, connectivity there but let me bring in see bulela to the conversation i mean uh, not in my name um received a recognition award uh from the department of social development firstly when did this take place and uh, maybe you can tell us more what the accolade meant to you as an organization uh, the movement in its entirety mm. um, um, and also what the award recognized um so as part of the international men's day celebration so every two years there's this uh, gathering of men nationally that we do in south africa under the banner of Taguane Reime Men's Movement, which is a collective of various men's organizations in South Africa. So we meet in Parliament at the National Assembly um, every two years. And so yesterday um, it was then taken to the called, uh, Collins Chabane local municipality, uh, uh, Masia village, I think, mm. uh, in the Vembe district. Um, so we, it was led by the Deputy President of South Africa, Honorable Paul Mashatile. And then um, we were, I, we did not know this was going to happen. We were attending the, the, the program as per usual. And, and then um, there was time that was, you know, set aside to honor men who are doing uh, good work in different communities in the country. Uh, the, we were recognized by the Department of Social Development. And so the Deputy Minister, um, Honorable Andrea Bopapezulu, gave us, you know, these awards. Um, and what that means, um, 
for me and for the organization, uh, not in my name. You know, the work that we do is a very thankless one. Instead of, you know, um, people being appreciative, you always get uh, scolded at, you're not doing enough, um, what about so and so, you attend to case A, what about B, what about C, you attend to B and C, what about D and E, so yeah. it's almost as though it's never enough, it's a very thankless job, um, you do it with very limited resources, and so that gesture for me, no matter how small it may look like, for me it said to me, you know, someone, somewhere is watching, and to be recognized by the uh, the DSD, we always lambast them, but they're a key stakeholder in the social development sector in South Africa, um, putting our politics aside, by the way. Uh, and so for me, it meant a lot, and for everyone else who was recognized, there, including the late Ntatesha, yes, I said, uh, the um, um, Prince of the Zulu Nation, uh, Prince Klanganiso Zulu, um, other organizations, others are from the Northern Cape, Western Cape, Eastern Cape, um, so yeah, that 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 that's what happened. It was yesterday on International Men's Day. Mm. Um, I, I want us to take a quick breather. When we come back, uh, we will wrap up the conversation, looking at some sure. of the solutions uh, that can be brought forward, uh, you mm -hmm. know, to assist men, and also to look at how also government and other stakeholders can be part of, um, you know, conversations uh, sure. such as this. Sabulela Gentile is my guest uh, tonight on uh, Soweto Today. Let's take a quick ad break. We're coming back with more after this. Welcome back. You're still watching Soweto Today. Thank you for choosing to stay with us. We are about to wrap up the conversation. My guest tonight is uh, Siabulela Gentile from uh, Not In My Name Foundation. We are talking about uh, the International Men's Day as we know the significance of uh, this day, he's still with us in studio. Sebulela, much appreciated for staying on. I mean, we, I want us to just look at the solutions, you mm -hmm. know. Um, also, how do we, I mean, we did touch on that earlier on, mm -hmm. creating safe spaces and stuff. What more do we need to do in order yeah. to make sure that uh, uh, the voices of men out there, mm -hmm. uh, you know, is heard? The issues of unemployment, the issue of the economy, obviously somehow, somehow uh, mm. forms part of uh, some of the challenges that mm. we face as, as men also, uh, mm. you know, or not being able to provide for our families and, and, and stuff. How do we create solutions? I mean, um, spaces that will definitely make sure that men are out there and are able to either get those opportunities and also speak out. Yeah, no, thank you so much. I think, um I'm happy that you raised the issue of, of, of the economy uh, because oh, the major contributing factor to our problems in South Africa um, is uh, uh, the soci socioeconomic aspect yeah. of, 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 of our lives. And so men cease to be responsible parents uh, because they don't, uh, they are unable to provide adequately for their families. They abuse alcohol because maybe there isn't enough opportunities. Um, so we can talk about that the whole day. So our interventions are not uh, one-sided. And so we can have these conversations, open these platforms, have discussions. But if we're not dealing with the problems that cause men to behave the way they do, then we're not solving anything. Mm -hmm. And so part of our solutions need to be legislative. That brings me to the point which is very much important that says next day we are going to elections, NPE, national and provincial elections. Um, we need to encourage people, especially young people, to, uh, we just came out of the registration period, I hope uh, they have registered. Um, we need to encourage those who have registered to come out and vote next year. Vote for a government, whichever that is, that will put their needs first. A government that will implement economic policies, um, you know, that are able to ensure that men can provide for uh, the, their families. And so there is one side of it. Um, another solution is that we need to review our rehabilitation processes. You know, in South Africa, you you'd steal something small or you commit small crime, you go to prison. When you come back, you come back hardened criminal. Mm. You know, uh, we've seen a lot of men go into prison for small things. When they come out, they commit gruesome murders. That says our um, correctional facilities are not rehabilitative in nature. And so we need to review what happens in there uh, to make sure that we rehabilitate men. 
Um, and so those who cannot be rehabilitated, we must make sure that our criminal justice system is strengthened to deal with those ones. We need to, our said to, to, to hear that they are cutting down the budget of the National Prosecuting Authority. Yeah. Uh, so there are many, there are many um, ways in which we can deal with this, but it comes down to each and every one of us, me and you, and what we can do in our own little spaces to make sure that we become positive role models in our communities. If you've got a son, teach them better. If you've got niece, uh, the, 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 even young girls, by the way, um, if you've got people that are looking up to you in your community, your colleagues, you need to be able to you know, become a better person, take responsibility, take accountability, and make sure that wherever you are, um, you know, you just, um, uh, contribute positively to the development of our nation. We are heading to the 16 days of activism in a couple of uh, weeks, I mean two weeks per se, mm. uh, but um, actually that's that, that, that's we're we already there, you know, yeah. but uh, I, I want to talk about the importance of uh, such a period and also not making it just, uh, you know, on those days, mm. you know, and also you know, people would say that these are just talk shops and all these kind of mm. things. How do we make sure that such day is, you know, uh, actually translates to what it's supposed to be? Mm. And also the government's role in making sure that, uh, you know, there are programs that are mm. there for men. Mm -hmm. It is a very important uh, time uh, each year in our country. Uh, but I always say that it's uh, one of the only times whereby the rest of uh, the country joins us in yeah. what we do because for us there really isn't any 16 days of activism because we do this on a daily basis. Um, but again, similar to International Men's Day, this 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 period is a period of commemoration. It's a time for reflection for us as a country to say that um, how can we get better? Have a conversation, an honest uh, and transparent conversation yeah. with ourselves. Um, I mentioned earlier the recent incidents of, of, of violence that we've seen at the university, at the Sibanyak, Stillwater. Yeah. Um, something is fundamentally wrong. And so this period should be an opportunity for us to bring all stakeholders on board and say, guys, but here we've got a problem. And government, this is what we are not doing. This is what, because the main problem with our government is that uh, they are failing to. Um, um, enforce existing laws. You know, we've got very good policies in paper which are black and white, but the enforcement is uh, the, the, the problem. And so I wish that we could use this um, 16 days of activism uh, um, not only to reflect, um, but also now to implement. Because we know what the problems are, we know what the mm. challenges are. Year in, year out, uh, you guys talk to us about our problems, we diagnose problems. It's about time we start talking about solutions. And some of these solutions I've just highlighted now that others are legislative, uh, others are rehabilitative, others are you know just social. And so this period uh, should be an opportunity for us to take it deeper and involve everyone in South Africa into the conversation. And just if you allow me to thank you guys as members of the media yeah. who are always illuminating the work that we do, especially during this time. Before I let you go, where can people find you? I personally cannot be found. I don't want yeah. to be found. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm Siabulela Gentile yeah. almost everywhere, or Sia Gentile. There's nothing special about me online. Um, but the organization that I founded and that I work for, not in my name, internationally, it's on all social media platforms. They can reach out to us. Uh, we are also on uh, email info at Nimni, Nimni being an abbreviation for not in my name, international.org. So it's info, .nimni, uh, info at nimni.org. Directly, they can just uh, email Sia at nimni.org. That's how we can, we can. Uh, on LinkedIn, I'm Sia Bulela Gentile. That's why I respond quickly. Your Twitters and your other things, yeah. it, I take time to, but yeah, I'm, I'm always available and happy to engage. Sia, much appreciated for coming. I hope that uh, you can come and visit us again on the show. No, just most to talk definitely. about various issues. Definitely. Thank you. Much appreciated. That was uh, Sia Bulele Gentile there, who is the president of Not In My Name International Movement. And, uh, you know, talking to us about the annual International Men's Day 
uh, which happened yesterday, the 19th of uh, November 2023, and how they recognize it individually as well as together with the uh, organization. We also talked about uh, the men's, uh, you know, uh, problems, particularly looking at the challenges that are faced by uh, men across the country there. Let me thank uh, my earlier guest that uh, we did, uh, you know, experience quite a lot of challenges connecting to him. That's uh, Tebo Holerule from ACT Now are there. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining us uh, this evening. Well, that's how we wrap it up for today's episode of Soweto Today. Remember, we love hearing from you. So please feel free to talk to us about this episode. Send us an email at Soweto Today at SowetoTV.co.za. Or you can simply just call us or WhatsApp us the number 081-531-8857. For myself, Tabo Mulukwani and the rest of the team, Mas Chabakobol is up next with your primetime news. Good night and thank you for watching.